Hello, it is Thursday, November 18th, a cloudy but relatively mild day here in Seoul. I'm Alex Jensen and these are your daily headlines. The United Nations has adopted a resolution condemning North Korea's human rights for a 17th consecutive year. Adopted unanimously by the UN General Assembly Third Committee, the resolution calls on Pyongyang to immediately put an end to the systematic, widespread and grave violations and abuses of human rights, as well as to close political prison camps and release their prisoners, while an addition this time is a demand to cooperate with global COVID-19 vaccine efforts. As with previous years under President Moon Jae-in, South Korea has apparently sought to appease the North by only joining the consensus but not co-sponsoring the resolution, which will be put to next month's plenary session of the UN General Assembly. Meanwhile, the US has designated North Korea as a state violator of religious freedom for a 20th straight year, along with nine other nations labelled as countries of particular concern by Washington, also including China and now Russia too. Tesla Korea and BMW Korea are among four companies voluntarily recalling more than 2,500 vehicles across 20 models due to faulty components. According to the Transport Ministry, the other two are MAN Truck and Bus Korea and Moto Rossa, which imports Ducati motorbikes. The defects include suspension issues with Tesla's Model Y and Model 3 and a potentially hazardous fuel leak risk on BMW's S1000RR motorbike. South Korea has unveiled a roadmap to massively reduce reliance on imports of manufacturing equipment, having been hit with a urea solution shortage and other supply chain problems related to COVID-19 and a trade standoff with Japan. According to Finance Minister Hong Nam-gi, the goal is to cut the country's reliance on equipment imports to 34% from the current 84% by 2030. And the country is planning to financially support research and development in four new industries in particular, semiconductors, next-generation cars, biohealth and nanotechnology. Well, that wraps up your daily headlines for today, but you can check out more career-related news, including latest breaking headlines via that link shown just below. That's our official website. But also subscribe to Career Now so we can share our latest videos with you as soon as they're released.